Okay, so today what is new is uh, this pane and this pane. So what we're seeing here is the ability to render some sort of 3D model. Uh, this top pane is going to be replaced tomorrow or the day after with a hemisphere showing all the points where readings will be taken relative to the position of the sample. Um, and that hemisphere should also show the incoming light source and um, some details about the wavelength of that light source. And perhaps the main beam of reflection, but we'll see how I go with that. Um, the secondary pane, um, this is going to show the position and location, oh, sorry, the position and state of all the stages that are part of the scatterometer. Um, that's going to take a little bit of work because there are quite a few parts there, so that may take longer. Um, the top panel will be able to be toggled from between a 2D and a 3D view, so I'm going to have a, a 2D arc um, with points showing essentially all the intervals that are generated when you press the generate sequence, so you'll you have the start and the finish on that arc. Um, yeah, so it's good, it's exciting, that's happening which is great. Now the other thing that has been achieved today is uh, I've implemented a handshake with the controller, between the program and the controller, and that handshake um, iterates every 10 seconds. So that means that if there's some disturbance, if someone cuts the power or um, someone comes along and, and I'll just quickly try to reboot this from the normal web controls. So if I go terminal and I tell this to reboot, what will happen is the, the, the equatorial scanner GUI is going to notice that it can't talk to the controller anymore. And you, you see this frozen state. Um, this is a little bit of a problem that I'd like to fix, but it is indicating that um, communications have broken down between the program and the controller, uh, and after it gives up on trying to communicate, it will then, you know, it's just changed to not connected with red, the, the normal program thread's continuing, and we can see here that it's counting down to when it expects the controller to be online again. So there's the assumption that a reboot's probably occurred, so don't restart until the controller is expected to be online again. Um, and once that has happened, uh, in another 26 seconds, what we're going to see is we're going to see the uh, sensor um, reinitializing and homing. And once that process has been done, then this red light up here of not connected will return to connected and the system will be available to do what it is meant to do. So we're going to see it halt at zero now while um, the homing is done. We can see this on this camera here. I'm toying with the idea of uh, incorporating this camera into the software, but yeah, that, that's not really a primary goal. And the other thing too is it's producing a light source, which we don't want in the production mode. So this is almost homed. There's quite a bit of settling that goes on with this. And we've got a green light and the system's now ready for us to do all the things that I've shown, shown off last time. And that's the end of today's demo.